Hello. So yeah, I'm feeling a little rough right now. Um, filming this after work on Wednesday. This is going up on Thursday. Because summer ween. I am not officially part... Wait. So I don't know if you officially apply to participate or something. I've just seen this on YouTube for like... What? Past year? Two? Cannot remember. It looks interesting. Basically it's about getting into uh, reading like horror mystery and thriller for about a week. I've not been much of a horror or mystery or thriller reader unfortunately for the past year so I figured why not. <laughs> I probably sound horrendous right now. I feel not too well but eh. So I have picked out a selection of books. I'm not gonna be able to read all these. I've still got... I mean, if this uh, would have been like next week, that would be fantastic because... <sighs> then I would, my summer vacation would be on. I would be able to just read, read, read. Unfortunately, I'm still working the next week. <laughs> anyway, that's just real life. Thing is... So I do have these six books that I'm gonna... I mean, up front, I'm not going to read all of them. Already, um, I do have these that all have the same theme of pretty clearly Final Girls. And I think I said it before somewhere that I am going to be making a separate vlog about these. As for the three that I do really want to read for this upcoming week... Um... <laughs> And I do think I can manage at least two of them. I'm going to start with the thriller. It's Katie Brandt's How to Kill Men and Get Away With It. It's about Katie Collins, friend, lover, killer. The synopsis on the back is just so interesting. It's like, didn't mean to kill him, but I did do it. Apparently it's about a woman who becomes addicted to killing men. I mean, she kills at least one of them. So I'm wondering, like, how many... How many that's how they're gonna be. And the other two, I've actually been waiting for this one, is Samantha Allen's Patricia Wants to Cuddle. It's essentially about reality TV in a way. It's about this person Renee who is participating in this reality TV show called The Cats. The world's biggest reality show. It's, I think it's like the Trying to remember the names of reality shows. I don't. I haven't really watched them in like about a decade. <laughs> Bachelor. Yes, the Bachelor. It feels a bit like that, and it's really, really. In I mean, it does sound interesting, mainly because the synopsis on the back is completely different from the synopsis that I read on the Waterstones page when I first saw this there, um, because this is all about. The synopsis on the back is all about Renee, but the synopsis on Waterstones was all about Patricia. And that's what sold me on this book, because I'm wondering, what in the world is Patricia? But this is a one-of-a-kind queer horror comedy for people who watch The Butler. Crocus. And I'm like, I mean, that's different. So I really want to read this one. And the other one that I really want to read is actually a Grady Hendrix novel. It's called Horror Stuff. I'm trying to pronounce that. <laughs> um, it has a cover that I really, really love. So, as you can probably tell, this is inspired by Ikea. This um, takes place in Orsk. Takes place in Cleveland, Ohio, where apparently there's things happening. Because the staff arrives every morning in the store and things are just out of place and broken and smashed. So yeah, it's a haunted house horror story that takes place in a Scandinavia light, all-encompassing store in Cleveland, Ohio. And I am looking forward to it because I really hope that there's like something really, really interesting happening in this store. Because, I don't know, it's like Ikea. This might be like a commentary on capitalism 
um, appropriation. I don't know. I have no clue. The good thing about like horror stories is that they tend to have this um, red thread of commentary about um, current culture and society and pe how, how, how people behave. So I'm hoping for something interesting here. Um, of course, I'm I'm not American. I'm Icelandic, which I think you might be able to tell from my accent. <laughs> At the very least, you should be able to tell that I am definitely not a native English speaker. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to be really, really interesting. Also, I just noticed on the back, behind the dead palms, beehive. Oh, it's so shiny, you can actually tell my serum as it is. Beehive. So that's something. But yeah, these are the three books that I really do want to read in the upcoming week. So yeah, this little vlog had no other purpose than for me to say that I'm going to participating in Summerween and trying to read quite frankly out of my comfort zone. So I'm also going to try and challenge myself in another way. I'm going to try and vlog every day. Anyway, hopefully see you in in the vlogs. Oh, it's going to be very weird vlogging every day. It's going to be like five minutes like, yeah, I write this. <laughs> Watch me do 30 hours. Wait, what? <sighs> my brain is not working. So I'm going to stop challenging my two little brain cells. They are going to need some rest. And I will hopefully see you another time. So until then, take care. See you later. All that. Bless, bless.